It's a shocking sight along local coastal beaches. Take a look at this. Horseshoe crab shells have been covering the sand in a number of spots. And of course, it's prompted the attention of concerned beachgoers. I would I can see that. why. I mean, yeah. look. Today, state authorities are setting the record straight. Here's NBC 10's Darren Patello. Horseshoe crab shells covering some Massachusetts beaches. The state's Division of Marine Fisheries posting this photo after getting reports along the coast of Massachusetts of unusual numbers of dead horseshoe crabs on beaches. Don't worry, the state's investigation found these were just exoskeletons cast off from the crabs growing or better known as molting. Oh, molting. That's why we find the shell. That's why I should know people like you. <laughs> the state says they recently received reports from Nahant, Weymouth, and Falmouth. And it didn't take us long. We just walked onto the beach. We got to Falmouth about five minutes ago. Look what we already found, exactly what people are talking about on social media. Beachgoers shelling out their response to the social media post from the state. We showed them on our cell phone, and there's possibly more to come. Marine experts say late summer and early fall is the peak of horseshoe crab molting season, so expect to see an increase of the molted shells over the next few weeks. It's a lot. It's, like, surprising to look at. I mean, you see and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? I would be curious where they're all coming from. Oh, well, not where they're coming from. <laughs> they're coming from the ocean. They're coming from the ocean, yeah. We've kidding. confirmed that. <laughs> to tell the difference between a dead crab and a mole, experts say look for the slit along the front rim of the shell where the crab split and left its old shell. I think it's very cool. They look like dinosaurs to me. And for more information on horseshoe crabs and molting season, go to our website, NBCBoston.com. We'll have more details under this story. In Bourne, Darren Botello, NBC10 Boston.